Hey guys, hope you're good. Becca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new series. We're calling this the Home Makeover Series. We recently moved into a new brand new home and we're just going to be showing you how we make over the home, the rooms, everything like that. In this video, we'll be making over this room right here. It's a loft bedroom and it's going to be a kid's room and I hope you enjoy watching. So as you walk in, you have this shower section here. Um, we're actually going to be blocking this off just to make it more child friendly. Um, so yeah, that will be happening soon. So the first thing that I'm going to do is obviously put my hair away, get ready, get prepped to start painting. Um, at this point, I already had an idea of what I wanted to do, what I wanted the room to look like. I decided to go for a blue theme on the wall. So we'd have a feature wall and then kind of decorate from there. So the first thing I'm doing is actually prepping the wall with painter's tape from the shop. It didn't really work well, so I wouldn't recommend using this one in particular. Um, but still went ahead and did that. And um, we decided to use turquoise blue paint from Wilco. Um, it came out really, really well. So my sister and I painted the wall twice. So we ended up doing two coats of the blue. And you'll see that in the next clip. I'm really happy we did that because it just makes the color stand out a lot more. It actually reminds me of Toy Story, which is really nice. And um, we also painted the skirting boards white instead of blue, just to make it stand out a lot more. In the next clip, you'll see us making the bed. And we also painted the walls off white, including the one behind us. And we changed the carpet to dark gray. So we're finally done with this bed. This is the single bed from Ikea, like I mentioned before. Um, and this carpet is also from Ikea in the kids section. So I thought that was a really nice addition. Hey guys, so we ended up changing these slats to um, a different one because the other slats that we had in the room um, kept moving around. So yeah, I'm just building this. So here I'm just assembling the leaf that's gonna go on top of the bed. It took quite a while to put this together. I don't know why it was harder than it looks. It took about three of us in the end to put the last bit inside, but it ended up looking really nice and I'm happy that we chose it. So I bought some Paw Patrol stickers from eBay and also some glow in the dark stickers from Amazon. And I'm just showing you guys how I stuck them on the wall. Um, I stuck the stickers on the wall, which was fine. Um, they weren't as big as I wanted them to be. I thought they would be a lot bigger. But we just had to make do with what we had. For the stars, I started putting them on the feature wall, but then when we turned the light off, we realized that they weren't glowing because they weren't close enough to the light. So that's why I ended up putting the glow in the dark stickers on the ceiling around the light instead of on the wall. <gasps> Ta da! So now that we've painted the walls and assembled the bed and also put the stickers up, it's time to make the bed. Um, we got this mattress from IKEA and we left it to rise for a few days. And I'm now making the bed, but I'm not gonna complete the bed until everything else is in the room. And making the bed with the court cover and everything will be the final touches. So in this clip, I'm just measuring out where I would like the leaf to go, making sure it's central and high enough so that it can't be hit as you go around the bed. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing here. So I also had help drilling the hole and um, doing the final touches to this leaf just to make sure that it was secure. Hey guys, we're back. Dad showed me how to use this. Let's go. Okay guys, Dad to the rescue. So the leaf is up. We also built the cupboards and the room is coming together very nicely. So now that you've seen the process of this makeover, I'm really excited to show you what the finished room looks like. So guys, this is what the room is looking like. I love how it turned out looks really really nice this rug as well pretty cool I like how it's got so many different colors which is why I chose it um, I also put this underneath to stop it from slipping it still slips quite a little bit but it's fine this bedside cabinet is a nice addition to the room I think it adds a lot and I also love these little cupboards from Ikea I like how these cupboards have quite a good number of shelves um, this actually came with only two shelves but I borrowed one of the shelves from another cupboard 
um, these are from Ikea as well just makes it really handy to put um, the little stuff like socks inside this cupboard is where I borrowed the other um, shelf from I plan on putting some hanging space here I'm gonna have to drill holes but that should be fine as well um, and the other one is pretty much the same these teddies this um, my brother already had this this is from Ikea nice little panda the bedding we already had like I said the leaf was from Ikea these stickers were from eBay I thought they would be a lot bigger they came like this but do you know what it doesn't matter it's fine so this laundry basket is also from the range saw it and thought it looked pretty cool and would be a nice addition to the room just requested an extra pole from Ikea and this is what it looks like now um, I still need to do the top holes here but I don't have the right screws so once I get the right screws I can drill a hole for that um, but yeah basically just use the drill had to do it a few times to get the hole big enough since this is in the Brimley's collection um, the size of the cupboards are the same so this width of the width of this cupboard is the same as um the tall Brimley's cupboard that you might have seen in my other video um but it works it looks good and i'm really happy with the way this turned out so guys that brings us to the end of this makeover i hope you really enjoyed watching the video thank you so much again for tuning in and hope to see you in the next one bye